John Scott joins us. All right, no more beating around the bush. Uh, you're back yeah, in. Uh, yeah, you're back in in the headlines. Um, I was a little surprised at the uh, the comment on on PK Subban. And listen, everybody gets their opinion. You you played you played against him. You get to to think what you want, say what you want. I guess for you, you just struck me as a guy that was very uncomfortable with the with with being the center of attention um, leading up to that All Star Game thing. And a comment like this, well, you know where that's going. It's right back to the center of attention, including on this show. Well, can I just say that that interview was done about two years ago and it wasn't in context of like anything that what PK is doing now. So they, they stored that away and just dug that up right now. So I, I wasn't trying to stir up stuff now that PK is in the limelight and in the, in the Stanley Cup playoffs. I just got that. I asked that question, I think, probably a couple of days I got done playing with PK and he probably dominated our team and was doing some weird stuff on the ice and high-fiving and backflips and i just probably wasn't happy with him at that moment but uh yeah it got hmm. taken a little bit of yeah. context because that, that interview happened a, quite a long time ago well that's interesting i didn't quite know that um so yeah. i what's your what was your reaction then when i don't know if you're you're sitting at home or you're watching that e that e60 and all of a sudden it's it's that quote a little just, a little unfair well i just started getting people mean tweeting me i was like okay what is going on and then all of a sudden i'm just getting harassed left and right and i'm just trying to figure out what's going on and yeah i didn't do that interview i'm trying to stay you know out of it and keep a low profile and just do what i have to do and you know i'm just a regular guy now so to have that come up was a little concerning and just disappointing because i did meet pk after that in montreal and at the all-star game and he's such a cool guy like i like the guy and i consider him a friend and to have that come out right now is kind of a shame so what do you what do you what is the correct John Scott opinion of of PK Subban on the ice then? Well, listen, I stand by. I'm not going to back away from my comments when I said it. I I meant what I said. I think he was kind of a piece of garbage with the stuff that he does. But he's he's a world class player. And I, if you would ask me about anybody I play against, I'd probably call him a piece of trash. That's just how I played. I didn't make friends on the ice. And when a guy scores a goal on me and high fives everybody on his bench and just does all this theatrics i i don't like it i don't like it if he does it or ovechkin does it or you know somebody random does it so it has nothing to do with him but it's just uh it is what it is i i'm passionate about winning and that's how it was that's what i was talking about two years ago when i did the interview but you know now i like him he's a good dude so <laughs> i'm just trying to put some fires out now because everyone thinks i did the interview two days yeah ago. it's not that it's a bad thing but my opinion is it it just it is how it is we're not used to me first guys or or guys that that you know want the limelight so bad the greatest stars in the league whether that was Lemieux or or Lindros or now Crosby and McDavid these are these are guys that they they do not gravitate towards that spotlight big moments on the ice sure off the ice we don't see it and in Montreal I'm like it just it wears on a team um yeah. how how accurate is that it's accurate and the good thing about PK and guys like him, because there's other guys who, who just like the, the spotlight a little bit and who are different personalities. I play with Brent Burns, and he doesn't shy away from a camera, and he, just, he has that awesome personality that people gravitate towards him. And I think people get I, – I don't know. I, I think PK does it the right way, though. He's not a media whore. Like, he's not out there just trying to have all the attention on himself. He still, you know, is a good teammate. He always is the first guy to say – I messed up or our team needs to play better. He's not throwing anybody under the bus. So he, he loves the attention, but he's, I think he's doing it in the right way. I think, I don't know, I'm not trying to kiss his ASS now that I said that. Like, I do think he's a good player and some of the stuff goes too far. He's a great, he's a great player. Yeah. And, and you need a couple of guys like that on the team. If every guy was like that, I think it would be embarrassing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't watch the game, but you know, he mixes it up a little bit. He, he has some fun with the game and, I think that's that's needed in this this uh, age now, where everyone's just very vanilla. Yeah, that's what I wanted to get to next. I mean, is it? Do you get a sense that the game is headed more in that direction? And maybe we'll look back at at PK Subban in ten years, and and more guys are like that, and he was kind of at the the cutting edge of 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 where the personalities are going in this league. Yeah, I hope it doesn't go overboard. I I don't think you could have twenty PKs on a team. I think that would be too much. I think it would just kind of not be watchable but yeah i i think you'll see more guys just being a little more outspoken just let their personality shine obviously not everyone's like pk he's a special special guy when it comes to his personality and sense of humor and just how he carries himself so you know hopefully there's more guys doing that but again you want to you know you want you don't want too many 
Enriquez.